The ancient Greeks have inspired fashions for centuries. When I stumbled upon this sheet dress or chiton mock-up on Pinterest, I knew I wanted to create one, but let me show you how you can take it one step further. Hello, I'm Allie, the literary sewist. Here in my crafting castle, I create projects inspired by the books I read, and I have read a lot of Greek mythology and mythology-inspired stories. Today, instead of using a sheet, I'm actually gonna be using this fabulous French cherry fabric from the FabClick Fabric Shop to sew a Pinterest Greek-inspired swim cover slash dress. Now, let's go sew. Starting with two to four yards of fabric, depending on how wide the fabric is and how much drape you want, fold the fabric in half twice. I use my clear ruler to help keep the fabric flat and on the grain. You are going to cut the top flounce first, so you'll cut off 10 to 12 inches long across the full width of your fabric. Trim off the selvage, then cut the width in half. Cut two more strips off at four inches long. The remaining fabric will be the body of your dress. Cut off the selvage and cut in half lengthwise. Take the four inch strip and cut off four inches at a time. These will be the connectors at the shoulders. I cut four of them, but you can do as many as you need. Right sides together, so your four inch squares and the remaining four inch strip lengthwise. Don't forget to join the two strips together first. Take the front body piece and drape it across your front. You will want a little bit of a dip in the middle, then mark where you would like the first shoulder to sit on you. Measure your shoulder marks, then mark the middle of the front main. Measure from the center of each of your shoulder connectors so that they are evenly spaced. Place the connectors back sides together, seam of the connector to the back of the body. Then add the next connector two to three inches toward the outside. Repeat for each set you're adding. Flip over to center and attach the flounce to the body. Right side of the flounce to the back side of the body. You should have a body connectors flounce sandwich. Sew the sandwich together. Repeat to attach the back and the back flounce using the opposite end of the connectors. Make sure to keep the front away from the back sandwich. Understitch the seam to the inside of the body. Hem all of your edges on both front and back with a half inch hem. You will need to make a half inch cut at the flounce and body seam to ensure the hem goes the correct direction. Slip your dress on over your head so you can mark where the waistline falls. Mark the sides and the middle of your back. Take the four inch strip, turned right sides out, Mark the middle, then pin to the center of your back of your dress. If you want to have it pull up to bubble, place it a few inches below your waistline. Top stitch about three inches to each side of the middle in a rectangle to cover both edges. Lay your dress flat and line up the side seams. From the middle mark, overlap the seam. You can go as far up or down as you want. Modesty levels are at your own comfort zone. Pin in place, repeat for the other side. Top stitch along both edges of the overlap.
Okay, I am all set and ready to go hit the beach, hit the pool, whatever happens to be closer. If you think you're gonna give this project a try, give this video a thumbs up to let me know. If you happen to enjoy what I'm doing here, be sure to subscribe to my channel for future installments of my bookish sewing goodness. And if you ring the bell, you'll be notified every time there's a new video uploaded. And while you're here, why don't you head over this way for even more sewing fun and book-inspired sewing projects. See you next time.